वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स एज आई आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द फिनो टाइप एंड जीनो टाइप विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वांटिटेटिव एंड क्वालिटेटिव ट्रेट्स so here you see what do you mean by quantitative traits what do you mean by qualitative traits people generally confuses with the term qualitative traits quality traits qualitative traits doesn't mean here that we are talking about the quality the traits which are concerned with the quality no the traits how it is being governed by the genes on that basis we are differentiating whether it is quantitative or qualitative the trait uh so we are going to deal one by one quantitative traits traits already you know the characters whether it is plant height whether it is grain color grain type grain shape grain size grain length number of pillars panicle size whatever these are the traits the trait the character controlled by several genes by several genes polygenes are known as quantitative traits the characters controlled by several genes several genes you can say polygenes many genes are known as quantitative traits so how do you know that the trait is controlled by many genes for that you have to make the crosses and then you have to see the gene action and number of genes controlling the trait but of course on the features on the characteristics of that particular trait you can judge that this is polygenic trait let me remind you here once we are concerned with the plants not the animals so here i can inform you that majority of the agronomic traits are quantitative traits here you have to keep in your mind that majority of the agronomic traits are the quantitative traits means they are these traits are governed by majority of the agronomic traits are governed by many genes polygenes polygenic in nature whether you are talking about the number of tillers whether you are, you are talking about the plant height whether are, uh, you are talking about the ill contributing traits so majority of the agronomic these are the agronomic traits they are polygenic in nature they are controlled by poly polygenes many genes and of course let me read out here then i will explain more it is also known as polygenic traits the polygenes have small and cumulative or additive effect on the traits there are many genes controlling a single trait say for example if it is plant height if it, it is controlled by many genes so means if you are increasing number of genes in that individual 
you are getting more and more and more impact so these genes are having a small impact on the trait but of course it is having cumulative additive effect on that particular trait if it is plant height or if it is panicle length of it is if it is number of grains per panicle any many of the agronomic traits if it is controlled by four genes five genes six genes if four genes are available in that individual it is giving this if it is five genes coming you are adding one more gene it is giving this if you are adding more one more gene it is giving this so all genes are having is small but they are having additive effect cumulative effect in addition they are adding the characters the uh, the, the impact of, on the character so let me put the hypothetical example here the poly genes have a small and cumulative additive effect on the trait for example if you see that four genes are there it is giving 100 cm if you are having five genes 105 cm six genes 110 cm seven genes 115 cm this is hypothetical i am telling you to understand well about the small and additive cumulative effect of the genes these are the polygenes polygenic traits controlled by many genes polygenes having a small and cumulative impact effect on that particular trait these traits are metric traits metric traits means the traits which you can measure in kg in gram in centimeter in milli millimeter or so that these traits are metric traits and can be measured in centimeter in gram in meter in kg etc say for example plant height so the same variety if you are growing in this environment giving 100 cm in another environment 120 cm in another environment 90 cm in other environment 80 cm what is this these are the variations continuous variations you are observing and these are measurable this can be measured say for example number of grains in panicle yeah it can be measured 100 grains 200 grains 300 grains in this variety we are having 200 grains in this variety is having the characteristics of having 300 grains per panicle these are the metric traits a thousand seed weight metric trait so as i said that majority of the traits agronomic traits are polygenic in nature so if you are observing in different varieties this type of variation the continuous variation if it is the test weight 15 gram 20 gram 30 gram 25 gram 15 gram this is the continuous variation you are observing you are not having clear cut two distinct classes in such traits so you should think that this trait is polygenic in nature so these traits show continuous variation as i have already said the 100 cm 105 100 10 100 15 120 like that has these traits do not show clear cut two classes as 100 cm or 120 cm no one variety is showing 120 cm one variety is 100 cm no the 120 cm is also showing 110 cm so variability you are finding in different environments for that particular trait so you should 
think that this trait is polygenic in nature. This is considered as a quantitative trait. Hence, these traits, uh, these traits are much. Yeah, this is very important. These traits are much import, uh, much influenced by the environment. As in one environment, it gives hundred centimeter. In another environment, it is giving hundred twenty centimeter. The same variety. Same variety you are putting here is giving hundred centimeter. If you are putting in another environment. It is giving 120 centimeter. What is this? Means these traits are governed by small uh, uh, polygenes, which is having is small and cumulative impact. But these genes are much influenced by the environmental conditions, the environmental differences. So that is why the same variety is behaving different in different environments for that particular trait. So that trait is, you can assume, you can think about that. Okay, this trait is polygenic in nature, because in different environment, the same variety is behaving differently for this trait. Ah, uh, of course, these are the quantitative traits. As you know, that Mendel has worked on the qualitative trait. Mainly on the qualitative traits, but whether these quantitative traits are also following the same Mendelian principles? Yes, they are also following the same Mendelian principles for inheritance. But the effect of individual genes for its magnitude and mode of action differs in qualitative and quantitative traits. Hence, techniques used to study these traits. Differ from the qualitative traits. So, how you are studying these traits? The method is different than the studying the qualitative traits. So, this is all about quantitative trait. That, without seeing whether it is controlled by one gene or two gene, without making crosses, without observing how many genes are involved. By seeing all these traits, these characteristics of a particular trait, you can assume that this is quantitative trait. Later on, you can go ahead for the crosses and you can determine the how many genes are governing it and what is the type of gene action in that. So now come to qualitative traits. As I said, qualitative means doesn't mean that quality. You are talking about quality. No. Ha. How, in which way it is controlled by the genes? It depends on that whether it is qualitative or quantitative. The character trait, yes, you know that it is a morphological, anatomical, biochemical feature of an organism or of an individual. Oligogenes, of course. What is oligogenes? genes having large individual effect producing distinct phenotype a gene which is having large impact on that trait and having having to distinct classes whether red or white or blue so these are oligogenes major genes which are having large impact on the trait. So genes having large individual effects producing distinct phenotype is considered as oligogenes. Now come to qualitative traits. When traits are governed by one, are few major genes, oligogenes, those traits are known as qualitative traits. Now come to this, these traits are not affected or less affected by the environment. If you are growing a variety one which is having white color flower, 
in one environment, in all the environments if you are growing, it will giving you the white flower only. If you are getting the variation, means that flower color in that variety is not controlled by the oligogene. This is polygeny. But if you are having the white color in all the environments, so environment is not having the impact on that. It is giving its expression in all the environments. So these type of traits are called qualitative traits and they are, they are governed by oligogenes, major genes. So these traits are not affected or less affected by the environment as flower color I said. The red or white in two varieties, then it will be red or white in all the environments. Hence it is controlled by oligogenes and considered as quantitative, qualitative traits. Next, qualitative traits are non-metric traits. It cannot be measured as centimeter, meter, gram, kilogram like that. The color, the extent of color you can see. But you cannot measure it in different uh, measurement. So this is the characteristics of the qualitative trait. These traits do not have continuous variation as I said. It has clear cut classes red or white or blue etc. Not like 190, 85, 80, 75, 70 centimeter. No, these traits are oligogenic in nature and if you talk about the inheritance, yeah of course it is also following the Mendelian, Mendelian principles of inheritance but of course for knowing its the magnitude and mode of action it differs from the quantitative traits. So you study these traits in different ways and you study quantitative traits in different ways. So uh, these are all about quantitative and qualitative traits. I tried uh, to clarify the basic concept of it so that you should not confuse with the qualitative and quantitative traits. Thanking you very much.